Hey guys and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video I'll be showing you something rather unique. Have you ever heard about Keynote which is a presentation software for the Mac? Well inside of Keynote there are some features that you may not know about. So on this video in particular I'll be showing you how to create logos and graphic designs inside of this software. So if you would like to learn about Keynote and how to create a logo for your YouTube channel or for other personal projects, stay tuned. Alright, so let's dive right into the creation of the logo using Keynote. So let's open up Keynote and let's go to New Document. You can also look for existing documents if you want to open them right here, but let's just press New Document. So since we're creating a logo, we really don't need a theme, but if you want to use a theme, feel free. So I'm just going to stay with the standard white theme, and right off the bat, let's just delete the sample text. Alright, so now we want to actually make our logo, so we want to go over to the document, and we want to go to slide size and let's go custom slide size. And let's make it square by going a thousand by a thousand pixels. Or points or whatever they use inside of Keynote. But let's go to the zoom up here and move it down to 75% zoom so we can see the whole canvas area. So for my logo I want it to be nice and simple. You can go with whatever design you want to create. But let's just go to the shape and let's go with a circle. You can also use any of these shapes if you want to use them in your logo. But now let's move the circle up to the top left and let's press shift, click on one of the corner little buttons right there and let's bring it, let's make the circle a little larger. You can position or you can make the size a little larger or smaller depending on your preference. So I'd like the size of the circle currently and that fits having the white borders around it just to maintain that spacing around the edges. But now let's go to format, fill, and let's go to gradient fill, and let's change the colors. And so this is kind of a fun part, designing your logo color scheme. So I just want to make it, I want to make it a blue logo. You can make it whatever color you would like. But let's go with a light shade of blue at the top and a little darker shade of blue at the bottom. So let's just find a little darker shade. Perfect, that looks about right, and that is the color scheme I want for this logo. So now let's make the gradient angle around 316 degrees, something around that. Yeah, 316 looks like a decent angle, having lighter at the top and a little darker at the bottom to have that contrast. Alright, so that looks good for the basic, uh, basic part of the logo. So let's go down to style, or shadow. And I don't think we want a shadow for this, because we'll add shadow to the text and for some of the design elements later on. So now let's add some text to our logo. So I'm just going to make the logo for AK Pro Films, and you can make it for your YouTube channel or your business or anything like that. But let's increase the size to around 550. Let's go about that. That looks about right. I'm going to bring that up to the top left around there. Let's go to text. And let's change the color to white. Perfect. All right. That goes well with the blue. It contrasts well with the blue. So that is why I want to go with that color. But again, this logo design is totally up to your preference. You want the color scheme you want, you want for your YouTube channel or for your business or any personal project. I'm just going to increase it to around 600 because I want the text to be a little larger there. And I want to press Command D on the AK. I want to type in Pro. And I want to bring that down to around 300. Uh, let's go around 400. Sizing is totally up to you. Let's go 300. Perfect. Alright, that looks nice. Alright, so let's off center that a little bit so we have that. So it looks pretty cool. They're a little diagonal to each other, which is nice. Alright, let's just move the AK and adjust the Pro. And that looks about right. Cool. And now I'm going to add the design elements that 
would look cool with this logo. So I'm going to add these little lines that go diagonally across the logo, which will look pretty cool. So now let's go over to the style. Once we add the square, and let's just make them white, and let's make the shadow. Let's not have one. And so let's just increase them so they go off the page a little bit. Let's go to the Arrange tab, and let's rotate them a little bit. All right, that looks pretty cool. Let's just drag and size them up a little bit. And let's rotate it a little bit there. That looks cool. And now let's press Command D on the keyboard. And let's duplicate that and let's rotate that around like that. Maybe, maybe uh, decrease the angle there. Mm, let's go around 320. That looks about right. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to create it and make it look pretty sweet. So that looks that looks about right. Just position them how you would like them. You can adjust the angle a little bit more if you want to. And that looks about right. Cool. All right, so now we have our text positioned and we have our lines positioned as the design element and let's just move the text around so they're equal space about from the top and from the bottom just so the design complements each other maybe bring it down just a little bit more and you can look at the thumbnail which is what I am doing just to make sure it looks nice on the smaller form all right, just make sure the design looks good before we add the final touches. All right, so that looks good where we have nice spacing from the top and from the bottom, left and right, and we have our design elements. So the next part is adding shadows so we can have some different shadows behind the text and from this line right here so we can add some depth to our logo. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so let's add some shadow to the image and make it more three-dimensional and add some depth. So first what we want to do is click on the AK part of the text and go to Style, and let's go to Shadow, and let's add a curved shadow. And let's just make it inward a little bit more of a shadow instead of outward, because that's the desired effect I'm going for. And then we can go to Offset, we can change that if we want to, and we can go to the Transparency. So you can make it really noticeable or you can make it less noticeable depending on your preference but that looks about right to me I just want to make it subtle but noticeable and that looks pretty nice now let's go down to the pro text go to style shadow curve shadow and that looks about right we can customize it if we would like to as well so we might want to change the angle of the shadow if we want to because that just matches the gradient as well. You might not notice it, I don't notice it that much, but it might just add a little bit to the logo if we want If we want to do that. All right, that looks pretty nice. We have some shadow behind our text, and now let's add some shadow to our lines right here. All right, so we want to click on our lines and go to Command-D to duplicate them. Let's just match them up, right, like that let's just make it green so we can see how we're lining this up that looks good and now we can just go back to color we can go to color fill and just make it white again we can go to our shadow we can press on drop shadow and we can increase the blur which i am going to do and we can drop down our transparency a little bit so it's less noticeable but still noticeable all right cool and now let's just move this move the shape over a little bit so we have shadow on one side but not the other and let's go down to the zoom go to 50 percent zoom so we can see a lot more of the area that we're working with and we can uh, change the size of our lines here that looks good and now let's just go to the circle shape right here let's go to arrange make sure it's all the way back perfect Let's click on this line and go backwards, backwards, until it is gone. And we can just see the shadow. It's not on top of this line. So we just want to do that process again just for this line. So let's 
duplicate that. Let's change the color so it's a little bit more noticeable so we can see it match up. Let's go with the fill. Let's go color fill. Let's make it white. Perfect. Let's go to our shadow. Let's go to drop shadow. Increase the blur. And that looks pretty good. Let's just make it 57 points, which is the same shadow as we have. So let's go 57. Nice. Let's go to the or the transparency and let's go to 22%. So I just want to make it match and look a little bit more similar. Then we want to go and decrease the width and we want to decrease the height as well. So it's only inside the circle so we don't see it protruding out of the circle. That looks pretty good. All right, now we want to go to the arrange, go backwards, and that looks pretty cool. That looks really nice because the shadow adds some more three dimensions to this image and makes it pop out of the circle just a little bit more. So now it's time to actually export this image so we can use it on Facebook, Twitter, on our YouTube channel art, or of the like. So now what we want to do is go to up to the keynote and we want to go to file, we want to go to export images. And then we'll be prompted with a couple options here. We can go to JPEG, JPEG, smaller file size, PNG, or TIFF. Let's go with PNG and let's do all the slides, which only contains one. Let's go next, save it to our desktop, and let's just do logo. There we go, let's press export. There we go, our image is saved onto our desktop so we can use it in an array of projects. So this is how I create all my logos for YouTube. I create my channel art, Facebook, Twitter, backgrounds, and everything like that. So Keynote is a great option for making logos. If you don't have the money to buy Photoshop or Illustrator or software that is similar to that. So I just find that Keynote does everything just right for me and that I can create some high quality images and logos for an array of projects. So thank you guys for watching and hope you learned a lot in this video. Make sure to press the like button as that lets me know that you like these tutorials and that you would like more videos like this or more Mac tips as well or tutorials like this. So thank you guys so much for watching and comment below to show me the logos you made and make sure to check out my website which is akprofilms.weebly.com or my Twitter or Facebook or Google Plus page. All these social media network sites which have AK Pro Films. So hope you guys learned a lot, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day.